Secret Service officially announced it closed the investigation into the baggie of cocaine found at the White House, stating, quote, the investigation will not be able to single out a person of interest from the hundreds of individuals who passed through the vestibule where the cocaine was discovered. At this time, the Secret Service's investigation is closed due to a lack of physical evidence. This has become a story now that the left-leaning media is basically ignored, a story that the right-leaning media is still completely obsessed with. Because if it was my cocaine or if it was your cocaine, not that we do cocaine, we'd be in jail. But since it's the White House's cocaine, all they have is a 500-person suspect list that they refuse to narrow down. Bags of cocaine that the Secret Service can't identify the ownership of? Oh, yeah, just how degenerate are they? No surveillance footage, no DNA, no fingerprints, no nothing, and not even a laptop computer documenting the crime with text, emails, and video. 300-plus mentions since last Friday. Every day on almost every show, the White House cocaine was a topic of discussion compared to only five times combined on MSNBC and CNN since last Friday morning. And one of those, by the way, was a passing mention in a soundbite from a Republican senator who was talking about something else. So, overhyped or underplayed by the media? Tracy? I mean, at some point, you just want to know who the idiot was who brought cocaine into the house, <laughs> right? right? right. Like that, let's just answer that question and move on. The, but but the they can't seem to answer it. They can't seem to answer it. And at this point, I think you either have to laugh it off or, or call them out on it. And, but there's bigger things going on in this world right now, really big things, and I'm not sure this is one of them. Well, I think there's bigger things going on. However, it really does speak to the question of, are we, is it really that lax in the West Wing that they can't figure it out in a place that's supposed to be one of the most protected? Um, the, the point is less about what was in the bag uh, having it be cocaine, but what if it was something else? What if it was anthrax? You, you're saying you couldn't figure out who was there or came in and out or even narrow it down. It's at least as hard to get into the White House as it is to get on an airplane. I've been in the White House many, many times. You go through the metal detector. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a dog there often. Yeah. There's a dog there. So it seems as if it must have been a, an inside job. I was friends with Greg Ullman back in the day. Yeah. Greg Ullman got me involved in the Jimmy Carter campaign. I introduced Carter uh, to many northern audiences as uh, in, uh, in the rallies and so forth. Jimmy Carter's, uh, you know, son and Willie Nelson right. famously <clears throat> smoked dope on the roof of the White House. So it's not the first time that, that it, uh, it has happened. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but uh, national security, I, I refuse to be alarmed by it. Mm -hmm. The Secret Service saying without physical evidence is number nine. The investigation will not be able to single out a person of interest from the hundreds of individuals who passed through the vestibule where the cocaine was discovered. I mean, it, it sounds like what we're hearing from a lot of the right-leaning media is we don't believe you. We don't believe that. And it does seem hard for me to believe that someone is telling the Secret Service to drop it, right? Mm -hmm. Because if someone told the Secret Service to drop the investigation, we would learn about it. Right. Right? I don't know, it's knows? much more I, I, likely to be an employee than it is to be Hunter Biden. And it was probably well, it's not, Again, what a, there's no evidence. Hunter Biden. I mean, was I, he even I, in the building? Right, exactly. It's like, I mean, you always got to bring it back to Hunter Biden. And, and obviously on something like this, it's obvious why. But... There's nothing to indicate that it had anything to do with Hunter Biden. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.